ಸ್ವಹಂ ತತ್ಸವಿತುರ್ಹರಿಣ್ಯಂ ಭರಗೋ ದೇವಸ್ಯ ನೀಮಹಿ ಧಿಯೋ ಯೋ ನ ಪ್ರಚೋದಯಾಂಧಂ Namaste everyone. So today I'm going to speak about Kriya Yoga, Kriya Yoga meditation tradition and um, Satya Sai Baba and more generally speaking um, Sai Baba because actually I hope you know that we have actually three Sai Baba avatars, three divine incarnation with the same name. Actually Shirdi Sai Baba Uh, was the divine incarnation for 19th century Satya Sai Baba 20th century and now 21st century we have uh, one more Prema Sai Baba the divine boy who is <coughs> at the moment yeah still boy and the question is what is actually connection if any between Kriya Yoga tradition Kriya Yoga meditation and uh, okay Sai Baba. Well, the question is very interesting and it's actually, um, um, you know, sounds slightly strangely uh, for me because, um, you know, it sounds uh, the same way if I ask what is connection between meditation and God. So let us just think about what is connection, if any, between meditation and God. Of course, sounds pretty much crazy. because meditation is actually a pathway to God. Meditation means self-inquiry and great, greatest, actually greatest, um, you know, uh, discovery which is Lord God in our hearts. So connection between meditation and God is um, strong and essential. If we start to practice meditation and just forgetting about God then it's slightly strange of course of course um, we <coughs> have a bunch of uh, Buddhist uh, meditation traditions and techniques and of course uh, Buddhist people they are not believing in God at least um, God as a personality God as a creator so Buddhist people Um, practice meditation actually and they don't worry about God yeah you're right guys but at the same time um, okay at least for me uh, God is reality it's real it's only the reality in this cosmos and um, I can't imagine actually that it is possible though it is possible to practice meditation without uh, mentioning about God okay Then the question is, who is that Sai Baba? Um, I mean to say that many people um, consider that Sai Baba is, okay, great guru, great philosopher and uh, really famous for his supernatural power, miracles, clear ones, healing, materializations, etc. Of course, I don't want to mention here uh, about those um, Uh, guys who suppose that Sai Baba is cheating uh, people or was cheating people better to say because Satya Sai passed away in 2011 but I mean to say let us um, um, uh, consider um, uh, options which are anyway positive that he's a great master mystic philosopher etc And, um, you know, uh, there is no any proof, basically, that uh, Sai Baba is, um, was, and will be incarnation of uh, Lord God. There is no any logical proof. Just that's the question of, in a sense, um, you know, that's the question, um, you know, like belief system, okay? But I don't like to speak about belief system because that's... Uh, Okay, what does mean belief system? It means um, my intellect, my mind, my logic, my reasoning about something. That's my belief system. Or belief system can be based on what my grandfather told me. That's, you know, family belief system or what my religion is telling me. Okay, 
I'm really okay practicing and teaching Kriya Yoga meditation for years but I'm Christian and I'm uh, really um, interesting and I'm studying uh, Vedic and the Buddhist philosophy but I'm Christian and of course um, the belief system sometimes can be based on what my religion is going to say about okay many different questions but I don't want to speak about belief system which based on my logic or on my uh, family religious tradition but the question is okay wh what is my experience what is my personal spiritual divine mystical experience that's something very very important and um, when we speak about mystical experiences um, it's very personal it's absolutely impossible meaningless to discuss okay let us say I have my own personal experience and millions of people the same and other group of you know maybe millions of people they have different experience I mean um, now I'm speaking not about just experiences but experiences about Sai Baba tens of millions of people they uh, really uh, got something in the heart and that's something is the great reason why they call uh, Sai Baba as the divine incarnation but at the same time huge number of people including some uh, yoga teachers and meditation masters they deny Sai Baba as a divine incarnation so it means it's a quite complicated question I'm not going to say that this is easy um, easy discussion but connection between Sai Baba in the form of Shirdi Sai 19th century, Satya Sai 20th century and Prema Sai 21st century. The connection between Sai Baba as a divine incarnation after all and Kriya Yoga is huge. It's huge because this is basically the same story if I ask again and again put this strange question what is the connection between God and meditation. Um, it means to deny um, divinity of uh, Sai Baba and at the same time practice Kriya Yoga meditation. Oh my god, how to describe it? It's stupid. It's actually childish. It's um, meaningless. I mean you deny divine incarnation and then you practice meditation of Kriya Yoga. <laughs> A little bit strange. Because if you practice meditation of Kriya Yoga and you can't recognize <coughs> this divine incarnation, then the question is, oh my God, what is the quality, what is the level of meditation you have? And unfortunately we have a number of even Kriya Yoga masters who are just denying um, Sai Baba or, um, or at least they pay no attention to that strange strange if you practice meditation and if you if your spiritual experience is you know um, deep enough then you have to recognize it and you have to pay attention to the fact that on this planet Lord God incarnating you know at least three times in our time 19th century Shirdi Sai, 20th century Satya Sai, 21st century Prema Sai. You know, not to notice, not to pay attention. I mean, then the question is why are you meditating? And especially how it's possible that some of that people even try to, to be meditation masters. Very strange. Because the God is the source of grace. I don't think that it's important that the Divine Incarnation is the source of techniques or source of knowledge. You know, there are many philosophers and they can speak about philosophy. They can be source of knowledge. Vedanta, Gnostic, Esoteric, Christianity, Kabbalah. So we have so many kinds of philosophical systems. For that we don't need the divine incarnation we have just philosophers okay to learn uh, techniques meditation techniques 
okay we have meditation masters yoga teachers maybe it's not so essential to come across the divine incarnation but grace this is you know very special item in our spiritual life grace only the divine incarnation only the avatar can give you grace no philosopher no yoga teacher no meditation master even he or she is like very famous impossible only the divine incarnation can bring grace just remember the christian tradition how it's happened that we as human beings got a chance to receive holy spirit because of jesus i mean prophets of old testament mystics so okay for all of them it was impossible to bring you know to bring this holy spirit only jesus the christ so so the grace grace is the point so it means practice practice kriya yoga meditation i mean or any kind of meditation we have so many kinds of meditation vipassana dzogchen dzogchen so many kinds of christian jewish sufi meditation kabbala meditation esoteric christianity meditation practice meditation that's very important but at the same time remember that the source of grace is the divine incarnation if you just forget about it well that's techniques that's techniques they can purify your chakras but never never techniques can bring any greater spiritual divine result god bless you actually see you next time of course i invite you to watch my videos on different platforms on internet and do not forget to leave your comments your thoughts your opinions thank you very much sairam see you next time ಸವಿತುರುಹರಿಣ್ಯಂ ಭರಗೋ ದೇವಸ್ಯೀಮಹಿ ದಿಯೋ ಯೋ ನಃ ಪ್ರಚೋದಯಾಂಧ